This portrait is of Mei Whaiteri, the original model for the Pania of the Reef statue that sits out on um, the Marine Parade in Napier. I think I did really well in capturing her ahua. I love to have portraits life-size, if not bigger, just to give them a moment of celebration. And then the frames are all recycled weatherboard, taken from when they demolished all the state homes. The frames represent the relationship that Māori have with social housing and how we were pushed out of our whenua into social housing. But at the same time, they are a beautiful representation of the whare that house our families, you know, our Māori families. I grew up here. I was born up on the Ahuriri Hill and then when I was 10, we moved over to the Cook Islands where my mum was remarried to a Cook Islander. It was scary because our roots were so deep here. Me, my cousin Tito, and my cousin Amelia Rose. There was always like the iconic trio of the three of us. All I'd had ever known was my whenua, my pa, my cousins. So it was really taking me away from everything that I knew. That was it, we're gone. Te rongo rānei koe, te mana wa kapa kapa o tō whenua, e karanga ana ki a hoki koe ki tōna taha tika. Kei te rongo rānei koe, te reo o mātua tīpuna, e whakakue ne ana ki a koe, kia mahara tia rātau. Avukate Ko kahurana ki te maunga, ko tukitaki te awa, ko taketamu te waka, ko haungere me te rai o ngā marae, ko Ngāti Narinare te hapu, ko Ngāti Kahurangi te iwi. For me, the biggest challenge has been my skin colour. I've been in the Cook Islands where in my school there was like 600 students and I would have been one of like the only fear students with coloured eyes. This kid in my class started calling me white trash and I was a bit like, shit that's weird, like never been called anything like that before. A girl actually in my class told him to F up and don't pick on her. So I thought, I feel like an alien here. I look like an alien here. They kind of treat me like an alien here. I started to kind of hate the fact that I had white skin because of how much that seemed like a negative thing to so many people. There's no shame in carrying dual heritage. You know, our Pākehā ancestors were just as powerful. It'd be just as proud as our Māori ancestors. Just feel like te ao Māori needs me a little bit more than Te Ao Park here, right now. I'll put the ladder probably over here and try and come down, but I just gotta find out where the shadows are. I've been a photographer for as long as I can remember. As a child, instead of buying lollies at the check out I was buying those little film cameras. You don't know what they look like and you have to go get them developed. My mum just stopped developing them because I was going through them too fast and I really think she limited my creative potential but that's okay. So straight back and just look out that way. Yeah. When I went over to the Cook Islands that's what I was doing. Taking photos of me and my friends and our adventures and you know, these amazing secret spots we'd find and 
I basically documented my entire life. And then when I was 15, I got my first professional camera, which, yeah, really, it really changed my life. My journey back to Aotearoa started when my tamahine was born. First trip home, that was when the whanau was able to meet her. Coming back was mainly so she could know who she was and, and establish roots in Te Ao Māori. It was a lot of adjustment, I think, for me. You've spent your whole life somewhere else and suddenly you're home and it doesn't feel like home anymore. When she was two, I sent her to Kohanga, which was definitely the best decision that I ever made. The kaiwhakahaere of the Kohanga basically said to me, you need to go and learn Māori. This is not a daycare for your child. This is a lifestyle for her. This is the path that you've chosen for her, and you need to tautoko her on that. And that was the kick in the ass that I needed. I went and enrolled in Te Reo Māori, class, I realised like this is the path my tūpuna want me to go down. Mid-2017, I started having a vision of a wahine who wore mokokauai, and I told my auntie, and she said, oh, you should hit up Auntie Sherry. I was like, oh, I don't know who that is. A month later, we were at another Rio Hui, and that auntie walked in and it was the wahine from my dream. I'd asked her, like, how do you feel about me taking your portrait? And she was quite taken. She was like, oh, why? And I was like, um, I feel like this is something that I need to do. So we took the portrait and I said, how do you feel if we shared this with your story on social media? And it blew up within a matter of 24 hours. I realised how much there was a need for more stories like this. In March 2020, I held my first exhibition. 20 portraits of Wahine Maumoko, accompanied by their stories. Each of their kōrero was like a koha to me. A lot of our journey has been me working on myself so that I can give for my tamahine a sense of community so she knew who she was. Returning home was about reclamation of my identity to put me into one world um, where I knew that my tūpuna were calling me. It makes me feel really proud because I know that the hard mahi that I've done within myself and within the community is paying off. Just, yeah, it makes me really proud. Kara takinga atu koe e toa ke tua oma ki wahi ke atu i taua i mohe wai. Ahakoa te aha e huarahi ki te kāinga. Te rā kua naro atu e kore rawa e ngaro a haere ake nei. I a koe ka rongo hoki i nā reo o mātua tīpuna e ka ranga ana i a koe ki te kāinga e mātua rongo ana koe i te karanga a tō ngākau. The one thing that I'm actually really fearful of is, you know, my lack of knowledge or sense of belonging here in New Zealand being from Punjab is that it'll be even more diluted for my tamariki and I don't want that to happen, but it's fast happening all on its own. The duality of my cultures, of being Māori and Punjabi, has 100% navigated this funny little waka of mine that I call life.
for me. It's one thing to be of those cultures, it's another thing to really understand who you are when you're standing in it. Me pehea tokimi ko waikwe, mena e hereana to tuakiritanga, hina ao erua e toaruana. When facing cultural alienation from both sides of yourself, where do you turn for a voice that speaks of your reality? Kariro rana i ma tou ano reo koe e tohu. Ko rangi uru te maunga, ko kaituna te awa, ko te aroa te waka, ko tia te marae, ko tapuika te iwi, ko nati maruku kere toku hapu. Korobinda Hunia Toku Ingoa. My name is Ravinda Hunia. Um, my maiden name is Ravinda Singh. I am a sports journalist who tells sports stories with and for our athletes, coaches, clubs, and everything else that encompasses. I grew up in a bicultural family and upbringing. My father is from Punjab in India, and my mother is from Te Puke. My dad, this Punjabi Indian guy, came to live in Tauranga. I met a girl at the Te Puke pub, and the rest was kind of history. Their relationship wasn't met very well by my mother's family, and that was just the reality of the time. In uh, 1984, being bicultural uh, in New Zealand wasn't a normal thing. My mother soon fell pregnant with my sister and I. She was pregnant with twins. From my dad's cultural standpoint, being of the Sikh religion, you don't have children out of wedlock, let alone to a Māori girl from New Zealand. It didn't come without its challenges. It was hard to find my place in either of those worlds. You know, we are connected to our iwi and our marae, but we didn't grow up on a marae. There was kind of a disconnect. Gudwara has been a huge part of my life. When I do come back here and I fill my BB and my bubble with me and yeah, I just felt, I actually felt quite emotional being up there and, and thinking about them. Even if I do come here with family, obviously I do look a little out of place physically. People don't quite know what I'm doing here. They think it's you know, just a cool thing to come to a temple and dress up like this, but you know, people don't actually know that this is me. I'm more Punjabi than I am Māori. I grew up in Mangere East. The community was blessed with sporting talent, but the one thing that I did recognise was that we didn't have our people telling our stories from our lens. I knew what it was like to be from South Auckland, so I would ask questions more relatable. I currently work for Sky Sport specific focus on women in sport. We need those types of stories brought to the forefront. Five, four, three, two, one, cue. Kia ora te iwi and welcome to another episode of The Verdict. I haere aki nei, we are discussing poitara fiti, netball. There are a few struggles being wahine Māori and being a sports journalist. You can't escape that sports journalism is a male-dominated career path. Going into a newsroom can be quite intimidating. You tend to get the softball stories, you know, on a child who's doing really well in, in their sport, whereas, you know, the guys get those hard-hitting stories that'll put your name into journalism infamy. Trying to find my place and my unique identity within journalism was hard. You need to harden up. It's the best way to learn, you know, because this is the way it goes. Well, no, it's not. You know, I'm a woman, so you need to adjust. You know, you need to adjust to me because I come with 
a different set of values and beliefs. I'm getting ready for my boxing fight tonight, something I've been working really hard for in training. It's a challenge for me, but at the same time, I feel like boxing and I have a special relationship. This sport in particular is where I feel most safe and myself. And I do my own hair and makeup. The world continues to turn no matter how you feel or no matter what you do. Adversity seems to rear its ugly head every now and then and it's just up to you how you deal with it. I have three children. I want to be that role model for people to just be uniquely themselves and, and proud of it. Any upbringing, any background, you can absolutely do whatever the heck you want if you have the right mindset, the passion, the drive and, and the will to work really, really hard. It's not it can happen, it will happen. By recognising that you are the sum of all of your parts, you will inherit the strength of all who came before you. Me te whakamaru atu i nga pakiaka hei painga mō ngā uri kia whai reo ai te whakatsipuranga hōu. Tēnā tātou te whānau, ko maua o te maunga, ko tauranga te moana, ko takitimu te waka, ko Ngāti Ranginui te iwi, ko Ngaiteahi te hapu, ko Hairini te marae. Te tāho tōku pāpā, ko kakanui te maunga, a ko kereu te awa, ko te whānau āpanui te iwi, ko te whānau a te ehutu te hapu. Ko te tauira mai tawhiti te waka, ko te kahanui āti ki te marae, ko te iri manane mai a pia au tolu toku ingoa. Hoki te tāo tōku pāpā, anō ngā mautere, te moana nui ākiwa, tētahi mautere tino i tie, tana ingoa ko niwe. What does it mean to be from two worlds? Ki te ngaro tētahi o e rā au i roto i nga whakareanga. How do you forge a new connection and reclaim the parts of yourself that you've never known? Kei roto mai tātou o Welcome Bay. He wahi whakahirahira tēnei ki āhau a i te mea i tipu ake au i roto o Welcome Bay. Ko ngā wahi whakahirahira mōku ake ki roto o tauranga moana ko Maunga Nui. Rawe rawa atu te hoki atu ki reira, te haere ki te tātahi, te haere ki te kai. Era momo mea katoa. Te konei mātou o roto te marae o Hairini, ko tēnei wāhi ki a hau, ko tētahi wahanga o taku tuakiri. I tipu ake au i roto i te reo, ko te reo Māori, tētahi a mea e tino whakakīnia i taku ngākau, te rangona i te reo Māori ki ngā wāhi katoa e mea. Hari kua ki a hau. Growing up in full immersion schools, it's definitely helped me be more connected to taku taha Māori, taku taha, um, ia taku ao Māori. Being Māori really gives me a sense of self-belonging and, you know, the culture is beautiful. Ai, ngā tini kōrero kua uhia ki runga i te whenua nei, ka oki ake ngā whakaaro, ki a rātau mā kua kōrero tia, kua whai kōrero ki runga i te pai, ko e rā momo mea, ka titia ki toku ngākau mō taku o ranga katoa. Nō reira, ae, ko tēnei wāhi, he wahanga tino nui o taku manawa.
Dad's always made it clear that we are Nguyen. My grandfather, my dad's dad, um, moved away from Nguyen, come over here and find some mahi and start a new journey in their life. I knew my kuro quite well. Yeah, he was, a, he was a good man. He passed away in 2019. My dad, you know, he wasn't really taught that much about his new end side. The first time I went back in 2019, I got to learn a lot about my papa, where my, my karaua, my kuia grew up uh, back in our village. Uh, I te tau uh, Rua Mano Te Kauma Aiwa i whakaaro ake au kia tāngia taku kiri ki te uhi. Mo te wāroa i whakaaro ake au me Māori, me haere rā nei ki te taha o taku o pāpa a taku taha niue. I whiwhi au i tēnei um, tatau. Ko ngā momo tāngā ka ki te ikonei E hangai ana ki tētahi mea e kia nei ko te hiapo. Uh, he momo tapa, engari no, no te mautere o niue. Kā re he hitori o te tatawiroto i te, te mautere o niue. Nā reira i tipakongia i e nei tānga hei momo tatau niue. Twitch is a streaming platform that allows gamers to share their screen in real time to people around the world. I just seen a little button on my controller that said broadcast and I was thinking, oh, I wonder what that is. Just started randomly streaming and I had like one guy come in and just start talking to me. Hey, be my bro. Good to see you in the chat, brother met a lot of people actually through streaming and through gaming. Nah, nah, we're just jamming some Valorant, bro. Some chill streams tonight. Moving up here to Auckland has led me to connect with some of those people in, in real life, and you know, some of them are my closest friends now. E harai te mea he hia hia tino nui kia hanga a i ngā kemu. Ko taku hia hia kia hanga i tētai kemu E kōrero ana mō ngā mahi o ā tātou tipuna. Ko e rā kōrero ko rangona ketia e tātou katoa ngā kōrero tuku iho ā o mātou mātua tipuna. Ko kupe te rā, ko māui te rā. Ko e rā mō kōrero tētahi timatanga mōku ki te hanga i tētahi kēmu. Ai, ko e rā tētahi hia hia nui a oku a tētahi kēmu ka whakanuia. A i o mātou kōrero. Kia ora e rā kōrero mō ngā wiki, mō ngā rā, mō ngā tau e heke mai nei. Becoming yourself is a lifelong journey. Ko tēnei takahitanga he arawhai mā tauranga. He ui pātai me te pupuri i o tātai hononga. <laughs>